Hello, bonjour, and salute to everyone who is going to watch my video. I need to talk about something that happened very recently in the school of Lloyd and Orcs. If you haven't heard from Lloyd and Orcs or have been there locally, uh, one of our principals have been fired or executively leave uh, for uh, accusation of sexual harassment for uh, women, uh, girls, on high school. And this was, wasn't the first time that the principal had done this. He actually done this in two other places, for example, Florida. Which, you know, it's just sad, really, that one of our principal that actually kind of not feel bad or mad about him, it just a neutral respect for him. He was there, when we see each other, we just say hi, wave, because we see each other most of the time. And we know, and he know how well I've been doing, so he respect me a bit. And you know, the, and the sad part about this whole thing is that the day before all this accusation news, whatever, I was at the parent teacher conference with my dad and mom. We went to uh, the hallway where we were walking by, trying to find either. Uh, food or a way exit. Dad tried to use the faucet on the hallway. It didn't work. And just then, the principal actually walked by, saw me, said hi, and I actually said to him, Hey, uh, the water faucet is uh, broken, but. And he was saying, Sure, I will try to be able to fix it. Well, now that uh, this moment, that ain't gonna get fixed soon, oh. Or unless Mr. Aganaga can try it. And, and the worst part, uh, not, not the worst part yet. There was also no news where there was a riot. Uh, eight five that happened in the school, well... From, if you get it from by person, some say it'll be 12, some say it'll be 6. But anyway, it actually will vary around the school. From the lunchroom to the tower and to the hallways. It actually bring in more than 20 policemen from both Kalamazoo and Porsche District. Police force, I mean. But... It was bad publicity for that day. And also... <sighs> it's just a tragedy, really. Because there are a lot of things... That is going wrong right now. Like, for example... The day after this whole moment where... At a lot of people or parents calling the office like Batman, going to the school and trying to get the kid out of there. I've been hearing from some of the teachers that uh, the higher uh, supervisor and a little bit higher up are trying to whitewash it or trying to make it not like a big deal or trying to make it secure. But, I don't want that. It too much of a, oh, let that slide it down, we'll leave it alone. So, no I can know it. Because if we don't talk about it more, and actually try to get assembly, trying to get answer for why they, why these things happen, it already had bad publicity 
at the moment. It will be worse if the people who are in charge in our education cannot tell the truth to why this happened. How can we trust our school if our if the people who are guiding it lie into our face? I ain't answer I ain't whining for anyone above to be fired. I ain't asking for anyone to try to obey to the public. We just want answers. Because people from Kamazoo and from beyond are worried for the safety and legitimacy to uh, Lloyd Norris and probably KPS. And one other thing I know to everyone, every, uh, everyone who was affected by the principal. And for those who feel betrayed, feel sad, and feel wrong. I know how it feels. And I know the a wrong thing. It's a sin. But. Let's all unite and try to make things right. Because. Remember. We are the generation that's supposed to change or fix the world. Which should happen with both the older and the newer generation together. This is a speaking dragon. Goodbye.